welcome back to my channel if you are new here please do subscribe and get more knowledge about science and engineering topics in the last video we had discussed about linked list single linked list as well as double linked list in this video let's discuss about circular linked lists linked list where nodes are connected to form a circle tails next is not null it points to head again so address of head is the da is the data that is present in the next field of tail. There are two types of circular linked list. One is circular singly linked list and the other is circular doubly linked list. So this is, this is a single linked list, isn't it? If the tail points to the head, then such a type of a linked list is called circular singly linked list. So the node of a circular singly linked list will be just the same as singly linked list. As shown here it would contain data and then the next field so there will be two fields in each node so in this case we have four nodes one present at 500 uh, location address one more at thousand one more at 2000 and 2500 so the first node will be called as head and the last node will be called as tail just like other linked lists do if the tail node points to head node that is only criteria which makes a singly linked list circular singly linked list. Now let's see its structure. You know why we use struct, isn't it? Because it's a collection of different data types. So struct node. Node has data and next. That is in data struct node star next or asterisk next and then the head. Now we allocate memory to a new node through dynamic memory allocation function malloc. New is struct node asterisk malloc star size of struct node. Say it again. New is equal to struct node asterisk malloc size of struct node. Now let's see the creation of circular singly linked list. I'll just read the code first. New nodes data is value. New nodes next is null. If head is null, head is the new node, temp is new node. Else, Temp's next is new node, temp is new node, temp's next is head, tail is temp. Initially, we'll have, a, we'll have some memory allocated for new node. As we get the value, we will enter it into the new, new node's data field. And obviously, next will be null because we don't know where to insert it or whether it is the first node of, a ta of the linked list, we don't know. So first, we check the condition. If head is nailed, null. If head is null, head is new node, temp is new node. Here we have only one node. So head is null. So we make this as head according to this. Now imagine that we are in a loop and we see this again. New node data is value and new nodes next is null. So head is equal to null will be false because we already have head over here. Now else temp's next is new node. Temp's, temp is new node. So this is no longer the new node. Instead in the second iteration we are having another new node with some value in it and the next being null. Here also it's null for now. So else part temp's next is new node. Since this is temp according to this temp is new node. Since this is temp temp's next will point to new node. So this will point here and this will be temp now. Right. Now temp's next is so temp's next is head. Temp's next will point to head forming a circular node, circular linked list, and then tail is temp. You mark this uh, node as tail. So that's it for creation of linked list. You can perform several iterations of this and uh, increase the length of the circular linked list. Let's go to insertion. After creating a new node as, show, as seen above, how do you insert it at the beginning? Let's see the code. New node data is value. New nodes next is head. Tail is, uh, tails next is new node. Head is new node. Now this is the new node. And in this link list, it's head and tail. This is the tail. So now you need to add new over here link it and then make the tail point to new node and then make it as head. So new node's data is value. F 
first we'll be adding some value. Uh, it will be integer value generally. And then new nodes next is head. So new nodes next will point to head. Okay, so a relation is established or a link is established between new node and head. Now tails next is new node. Tails head, instead of pointing here, it would point over here to new node. And head is new node. Now this is not the head. Instead, new node will be considered as head. Now let's see insertion at end. New node is new node's data is value. New node's next is head. Okay, so yeah. New node's data is value. New node's next is head. New node's data, we are putting some value, the integer value. Then new node's next is head. Now new node will be pointing to head. Tails next is new node. This will initially be pointing to head but now it's going to point in new node. So this link is broken. And tail is the new node. This is not the tail. Instead this is new node will be called as tail. Now coming to insertion at a position. Temp is head. For i equal to 0, i less than position minus 1, i plus plus. Temp is temps next. News data is value. New is nothing but the new node. New, new. News next is temps next. Temps next is new. Now we need the value of position. Suppose you want to insert it at this position, insert a node at position 3, then you give pause as 3. So, it will go through this for loop for i is 0. i is less than 3 minus 1, 2. So, when i is 0, it will be over here. So, temp which will initially be pointing to head will point to the next node. That is the second node. Uh, when i is equal, now we finish for 0. When i is equal to 1, it will point here. Which is 2. 1 is less than position minus 1. Position I said 3, so 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 is less than 2, so temp is temps next. So now this will be temps next. No, when it is 1, this will be uh, temps next. Now, news data is value. New node will have some data value. Now, news next is temps next. Now, this will be pointing to this. And temps next will point to new. Temps next is nothing but new. Hence we will get a link like this and the new node is inserted over here. Now let's go for deletion. Deletion at beginning. Temp is equal to start. Head is equal to heads next. Tail next is head. Temps next is null. Free temp. Okay. So this is the head and tail. Now we have to delete the first node. So initially temp is not start, temp is head. Now temp is head. Head is equal to heads next. So head is nothing but heads next. So this is going to be head. This is not the head node henceforth. Tails next is head. So this tail is going to point to the new head node. Now temps next is null. This is temp. We make the second field as null. So this link is broken over here. This is also broken. So now this is a separate node. Temp. Which is having no links. So you can delete the node by using the function free. Now let's see deletion of a node at the end of link list. That is the tail node. Temp is head. Initially you point temp to head. Then while temp's next is not equal to tail. Temps next is it tail? No. So we will go into this loop. Temp is equal to temp next. We move this. We move to the next node. So this is temp. Again is temps next tail? No. So we move again one step forward. Is this node, is the temps node next tail? No. So again we move temp to the next node. Now temps next is tail. Yes it is it is a tail, so this condition is false. Now, tails next is null. 
you make this value as null so this link is broken temps next is head temps this is the current temp right so you point this to head and this link is in there temps next is head free tail now this is having no link this is a separate node so you free it now deletion at a position for i is equal to 0 i less than position minus 1 i plus plus temp is equal to temps next temps next is equal to temps next of next now if you want to delete this uh, node the third node you traverse from head till here that is the for that is the for loop statements now in this statement we are saying this is the current temp this is the current temp so we are pointing temps next to next so this is the link hence this has no link we can make the value this of the second field as null and then free this using free function free temp so that's it for this video we'll see in the next video Please do subscribe to our science tutorials channel and also press the bell icon to get more instant updates immediately.